Hello YouTubers, Manny here from Manny's How To Workshop with a video today on um, how to anchor down this uh, Harbor Freight uh, tire changer to your garage floor, your uh, like concrete floor. Uh, I, did, I believe I did a video before where I showed you that I had mounted that tire changer inside this trailer on the towards the back over here and that those um, anchors are still in the floor so it, I can always still use this in there if I needed to because that those anchors are made for wood and what I'm using here is concrete uh, anchors and basically this is my spot where I'm gonna be mounting it as you can see I already have three of the holes uh, done uh, there's one here one there one there there's four of them total that matches the uh, mounting uh, base of the uh, tire changer see there's a hole there one there one there and there's one right there on the other side now the holes that came with this were a little bit smaller so I had to uh, drill them out to fit uh, this size bolt right here which it's a uh, it's a half inch by 13 13 is the, the uh, thread count or the thread pitch for this bolt and this anchor is the one that I'm talking about, this style anchor. So this is what they call a drop-in anchor. You can see it's uh, flared some, slightly on one side with uh, grooves. And inside, see that little uh, pin there? What that pin does is that once you drill the hole and you drop these in, and you can either use a special tool they made specifically just for this, to push that pin all the way down when you do that it flares these out these tabs right here you can see it right there flares these out and locks it in at the bottom now the application they show on the package for these is vertical so these anchors are up in the ceiling like concrete ceilings and they use a half inch uh, bar threaded bar to screw into it and but since mine is going to be on the floor right there it should work very well uh, for what I needed to anyway and like I said all it's doing is holding this in place so when I'm changing tires which there's a tire right there I'm gonna be swapping to another rim but uh, anyway so like I said and also you can also use this bolt if you already have the bolt then you just take the bolt and thread it on here and uh, hold on one second Let's see. okay so take the anchor, and like I said, you don't want to go all the way in, but uh, just thread it down till you feel it stop, and then back off a little bit. And because when it stops, it's actually sitting right above that pin that's in there. And then you take the anchor and the bolt, okay, come to your hole, and, oh, the hole size. So on the package it says use a 5 8 uh, masonry bit and you're going to need this tool here. If you don't have a rotary hammer like this one, they have drills uh, that are rotary drills and that will help immensely. See, I have this 5 8 SDS bit that goes inside this uh, rotary hammer here, which is also from Harbor Freight, the Bauer. For the price, you can't beat this. This thing saves you so much time, so much, so easy. But anyway, so 5 8 drill bit, and you drill your hole. Like I said, you know, of course, you put that in place, mark it with either a marker or pencil, and then use like a punch to get the hole started so the bit doesn't wander, kind of stays in place. Very important, guys. Uh, try to stay as vertical or as plumb as possible when you're making your hole, uh, especially when using big drill bits. Because this one came out pretty good, this one came out pretty good, this one's slightly off. It's leaning forward just a hair, but hopefully that won't be too much of a problem. I may have to wallow out that hole just a little bit so I can get the bolt in on an angle. But anyway, so basically just take your threaded anchor and bolt, put it in a hole, as you can see right there, it uh, it doesn't go all the way in, but take a ball peen hammer and then you know just start knocking it down. Oh, 
I forgot to mention. Also, when you dig your hole, dig it the length of the anchor, which this anchor is two inches long from here to the tip. So I went down like two and an eighth of an inch. And the tip of the, um, what do you call it? The tip of the blade of the uh, drill bit is on an angle as well. So it goes down a little bit further. But, uh, and that helps give you that extra distance. Anyway, the fact that you want to go a little bit past is so that this uh, definitely goes below the surface. Okay. And so that way, because later, you know, when I'm not using this uh, tire changer here in front of my garage, like I said, I can dismount it and move it away into the storage area. And then this will be flush. So you can walk over this. You won't be tripping or nothing. Like these bolts will not stay in place. And I'll just store these off to the side somewhere. Or just put them in a baggie and hang them on here. So they're always with it, which I am definitely going to do. You know, or just weld a little square cup around here somewhere on the base or something. Just drop them in there so they're always accessible. But anyway, so like I said, take a ball peen hammer. Make sure, let me make sure, okay. So that's all the way down. I'm coming back just a little bit. And you just pound it down, okay. And that actually works very well, see. Now, you just take this back off okay like that and you can see this is nice and flush okay and this one this hole is yeah two and an eighth i think that's why i went a little bit further but that's okay this one's also below a little bit that one is exact this one is exactly flush this one is just below a little bit okay so then what i'm gonna do also is take a, uh, I guess there's a punch, flat tip punch like this one, okay, and let me see if I can put this, be able to hold this, it's going to be hard kind of doing this to show you exactly what I'm doing because I got to hold the punch, but yeah, that's, hey, oh, yeah, okay. Let's see. So basically, okay, so I'm going to take the punch, as you can see. Let me tilt this up just a little bit more. Right there, okay. And I'm just going to hit it until I feel it, you know, get to the bottom, okay. And right there, I can feel it already. Because this thing is wanting, is bouncing back on me like that. Okay, so that's basically it. Uh, and like I said, it's locked in place. And you know, just come back, hand thread it. And for this one, the bolt head size is 19 mil or three quarter. So. When I bring that over, I'm going to slide it over and uh, put the bolts in. I'm going to cinch it down. You know, use this. Or you can use a drill like my DeWalt uh, Impact, which puts bolt this, uh, bolt this size. It's not going to, you know, it's not going to hurt it. I'm not going to use my Impact uh, where I use my compressor because that potentially just from the shock could possibly... Uh, vibrate the anchor a lot and cause it not to uh you know cause it to maybe come loose but i don't think it will because like i said if i can put these on here hand hand first you know hand tight then it's it's not going to have any issues uh going in you know put it on there start it with your hand start it with the hand first and then uh you can use the drill to zip them in all right so let me go ahead and tap the rest of these down i know that one's done uh, see, that one's got to get done. This one's got to get done. And then I'll show you the, the tire changer mounted already. Alright, so just bear with me and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so I got everything lined up. And now I'm just going back and uh, tightening everything down. And like I said, this doesn't have to be super tight. 
just snug uh, to where these right here is like touching the concrete because you know it does have a bow since it's bolted it's not welded but like I said you know I'm just cranking it down until I can feel like right there that's tight right there you know on this side like I was telling you guys I had to wallow out the hole a little bit more because the anchor was not perfectly straight up and down but like I said right there when when I'm pulling it and I can feel it tightening if I had to guess I could probably torque this down to probably like 50 foot pounds more or less you know and uh, I, I think it'd still be good so between 30 and 50 or 30 and 40 would be good and like I said you know right there oh yeah she gets tight and I might end up going and getting some longer bolts these bolts are only two inch long on the shank not including uh, the head the thickness for the head which is about a quarter inch so I might end up going with like maybe two and a quarter inch bolts and then put some washers under there so that the bolt is not the bolt head is not cranking down on the on the frame okay so like I said that's nice and snug that's nice and snug like I said I could probably get about 50 foot pounds right there on, on each one of those and there it is oh yeah this thing is freaking it's freaking solid on there and it's not going anywhere and basically all it is is to hold this big bar or to give you uh, a solid uh, what do you call it solid stand so that when you're cranking on this bar here when you put it you know underneath the the rim of the tire or you're lifting the uh, tire edge over and you got to walk all the way around that's what all it's doing you know those four bolts holding that down this ain't going nowhere it's nice and sturdy and uh i'd say that's a good good win and now that everything is in there for the future it's going to be easier so i can use my uh quarter inch impact with a half inch uh socket adapter on the end put it down there and like i said after i use it so many times the opening of the anchor is going to start to accept the bolt much easier and with a longer bolt i can also get a better angle it will adjust for the angle going in as well so that's what i'm going to do and i think i have that size bolt here so i just need to look at my hardware bin but as always guys uh thanks for watching please rate comment subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so and also hit the bell notification for more and upcoming videos and i'll catch you guys in the next one all right take care